Hey, Mom Siraj, you're the only person that can bring me to Gainesville. I went to the Florida State University in Tallahassee. And uh, this is the second time I'm here, and you're the second, second time I came out because of you. Are you serious? Yes, sir. I'm a, I'm a lawyer, and um, I actually deal with a lot of these situations that you're talking oh, wow. about in Marion County. But uh, my question to you was about, um, how, this, you talk about racism in America, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of racism within the, uh, within the Muslim community yeah. that I see, you know, certain people, Arabs, Indians, black, you know, especially with, in particular, a lot of people that are born Muslim, they look down, I don't know if it's psychological or what have you, but they look down on people who, are, who, are, who convert to Islam and they, they feel that because they're born Muslim, they're, you know, they have more of moral superiority right. or something like that about uh, passing judgment. I think some of that exists. I, I think, brothers and sisters, some of it exists. Some people would argue that racism is more than a feeling. You know, it's a feeling that I'm better than you. Some people would argue that racism is not only the feeling, but the power to do something with that feeling. That is, the United States government we had institutionalized racism. So not only did they feel that black people were inferior, they did things to keep black people inferior. And they were backed by the law, by the police, by the courts, by every system that you can imagine. So the, the, some of the issues that we face as, as Muslims not as bad as some of it. We have to, we, we, I think we, we uh, you know, we, 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 work, we work on it, but it's not the same degree and certainly not the same intensity. But I do think that some of it exists, there's no doubt about it. And one of the remarkable things that, 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 which is good for us, when you read this book, The Autobiography of Malcolm X, thanks be to Allah that he found good Muslims so that he can forever write in his book about the Brotherhood of Islam what if he had ran into one of those racist Muslims and had Malcolm been exposed to that rather than be exposed to the real Islam, Islamic Brotherhood, um, we may have had something else in, in, in the book. So one of the things that I recommend we do in our community, that we have to go beyond the rhetoric of brotherhood. What do I, what do I say that? One tradition of the prophet, he said, peace and blessing be upon him, he said that God will say on the day of judgment, where are those who love one another for me because of my glory? This day I will give them shade in a day where there's no shade except for my shade. And, and the key to the brotherhood of Islam is that you do it for God. You see, see it's one thing to love somebody. I like that person. But it's another thing to love that person only for the pleasure of God. So that's why the key is putting God up front in everything that we do. I recommend that we, you see, how many of you, I want to truly answer. How many of you have had an African American at your house for food? Raise your hand. Yeah, that's good. Certainly, I can't verify it. <laughs> well, guess what? Keep on doing it. How many African Americans have had non African Americans at their house for dinner? Raise your hand. Excellent. Excellent. By the way, any Pakistanis here? I'm available for dinner. <laughs> I will let you know. But I want some Pakistani food. <laughs> <laughs>